Come back later to play Boom Blocks. We're gonna throw bombs at guys. I mean, we have a lot of levels here, actually. Oh dear, this is gonna take some time. Dude, they're everywhere. They've infiltrated us. Hey! Yeah, we have bombs on both sides. This is horrendous. I guess all you need to do is just. Whoop. that they need to give us a single level. 70. Shoo. This is feeling pretty sustainable so far. Although, gyms are falling more and more. I have a feeling we haven't even gotten to the meat of it yet. They might just throw a bunch of them at, the, at us at the very end. Come on. There's nobody here. I might throw a lot of enemies at us at the very end. Yeah, like this. To take it. Yep, yeah, exactly like this. To take advantage of the weakened defenses. Yeah, it's not too bad though. I I can easily keep up with all the enemies that are spawning. Are we gonna have exclusively the raccoons though? You guys that move more quickly. You want it? You want it? Just gonna take it. No. It's a good omen, I think. We have actual bears this time. Look at them. My vanish box, why? My vanish box. But we're gonna destroy the walls in the process. Oh no! Oh crap. Um, yeah, there is definitely gonna be hard to defend when we have all the blocks just out about like that. But all the stuff is gonna get destroyed eventually, anyways. By eventually, I mean possibly pretty soon. Since they're throwing bombs. And there's crumble stuff everywhere, so I don't think it's gonna be too bad. That's a design level in such a way that you'd eventually have pretty much all that stuff destroyed and still be able to complete level wise, so I don't think it's saying you do that. Plus, they don't throw a lot of enemies at you. They like, throw at you in really strange locations or something. So you're not be able to keep up with them spawning and still actually get rid of all of them. Just throw your bombs in the right places and you know, nice, get rid of all of them. Because you usually get rid of a few in one throw. Not, not the slightest problem, despite the fact that the gems are right next to the actual portals. I wonder if your gems can fall into the portals. Probably not. But I'm making no assumptions. I'm a vanish box, dude. But we're using bombs, and they're, these guys are starting out right next to the vanish box. Like, I, I'm not even sure what the point of this is at this point. Well, yeah, so basically what's gonna happen is we're just gonna spend the entire level defending gems that are totally open and exposed. Like we've done before. I wonder if it's really a tactic, a viable tactic to actually try to protect your gems by just like blowing them into oblivion. Like making them go very, very far away. Probably not. I don't like that gems up there. Stop that guys. Stop. I actually don't know that John stolen gem is, right? Just now. I don't like them. Like, there, there are a few gems I don't like locations of. Because those ones keep getting in the way of other guys. Or everybody keeps getting to them. I actually don't know where some of those stolen gems were, right? Admit. I don't know where. I couldn't see any gems that were being stolen. Oh, I saw these go so far away. Oh, that's the worst. Okay, so I guess you can... Well, you don't want your gems to all go really far away because the enemies will still... I don't have one bomb out of time. 
his enemies will still uh, go after them. And you'll have to spread your defenses over a larger area. Not to mention, the gems just like a ball very far in this boat for some reason. Yeah, this one gem in the corner is gonna be a nuisance this entire time. This everyone that spawns over there is gonna go for it. It always takes a really long time for a uh, bomb over there to hit the ground, too. It's so far away. Leave me alone! Oh, man, dude, there's a bomb! There's a gym right next to you. Why are you not going after it? Very smart guy. No. Mine. It's not too bad, I don't think. Yeah, that one tower actually kept standing. It's nice. It's okay so far. Guys, Spanish blocks, getting old. Please. <laughs> it's just turning into protecting stuff that's lying out along the ground. Yeah, and the only way of protecting myself in the slightest explosion setup. I guess I could, potentially. Prevent. Any explosions from causing issues there. Yeah. yeah, I can do that, so now that won't be an issue. So I just need to protect against the uh, cocoons. I keep blowing their bodies against the uh, walls. Oh, yeah, stuff still falls eventually, anyways. Way through. I don't like how part of it is when they fall, they tend to fall towards the raccoons' spawning areas. It's bad. That is very bad. I don't like the location that one. I prefer that have that gem get blown more towards. Nah, I can't really blow the gems away. That was not really need. These guys need to go. Not what I need to do with that bomb. Destroyed my entire tower. Game though, it's not too bad. You just and you can see everything at once. That's the thing. It's actually really simple to keep track of everything when you only have some stuff strung off the ground. It's almost easier this way. There we go. I think my wrist tired though. Shoot. We are going through these levels at least. I appreciate that. Let's have challenge levels are the ones that are easy. <laughs> One raccoon, four sheep. Okay, yeah, four raccoon. Probably four assuming symmetry. Is that really the case? Like, I don't see why I can't still just. Oh. Try to pick, pick, pick off some of them when they're far away. And you have. Well, yeah, I guess there are probably two enemies sp spawning this time for me to actually easily pick them all off with only bombs. Without any walls holding them off. Well, we'll have to see, because we're not really. We're not, some of the bombs are throwing. Yeah, see, but. And you say away from all to clump together and then strike. Well, yeah. The best way to have them all clump together is to actually let them in. Oh, man, they took their time getting up to them. Yeah, like, let them all go after those bombs in the center, the bombs that are exposed. And then you can just throw some bombs right at the center. And all all works out. <laughs> Ta-da! Nothing too special. Man, you can see yeah, you can see enemy camps right outside the gates over there. It's kinda cool. Alright, let's finish this off, that'll be the end of the episode, I think. I uh, know, that might actually make for a bit of a short episode. I guess we might have a preview of the next area. Underground? Oh dear. Well, that's the worst! Some are actually gonna appear under there. It's really bad. Wow.
Yeah, it feels like I guess just do the rounds when you're sitting here. <laughs> the wall the wall is actually keeping them in. My god, see, they're all spawning underneath! Stop! So it's basically the same thing we've been doing the entire time, except now the enemies are spawning at the gems. It's a little dumb. But that means I got <laughs> they're all spawning in one place, so I can just bomb them infinitely. Spawn killing is the future. And just throw the bombs preemptively, in fact. See, he never even had a chance, he just appeared under a bomb. Okay. I guess I can take that. So yeah, I guess we are warranted a little bit of a lead into the next area. Oh dear. Guys. What's this? Oh dear. Bombs? Holy bombs! Holy crap! With explosions? Really? Ah! Stuff falling. Ah! I wasn't sure how big that radius was going to be for the explosion. I'm on 300 points anyways, my god. It's incredible. Oh, well. No thanks. Huh. I forfeit. Out. So maybe we will actually end up being able to. I feel, I feel like I'm speaking too soon, but maybe we will actually be able to get through all of this in the next episode. It's just like life. It's a metaphor of life. Oh. I should have paid a bit more attention to the. Uh, Wow, I didn't even get what I needed. Really? 240, huh? I mean... Like, I only lost 5 points from that. I lost 5 points from that. The thing is, I'm not earning enough points. How do I earn that many points? 40. What's the idea here? Like, that only gets me two. Twenty, I suppose you'd say. I'm not quite sure what the idea is here. I uh, well, would it work out for me to... I guess it wouldn't. For me to do this? Yeah, it would. Now, if I just destroy everything... say I have no fear. Why can't I destroy all those at the same time? Why can't I destroy two of them simultaneously? It feels really wrong. So you get way more points than I lose. Yeah, see, why is that happening? So I can do that. Except, like, I feel I should be destroying two of these simultaneously, shouldn't I? Why is that not what's happening? I don't see how it isn't. But it's not. I don't see why. That worked out well, somehow. Oh, what? Come on. Now you destroy those last ones. Yeah, I just don't get why I can't destroy more than one of these at the same time. I can't destroy both of those? No. What? What's happening here? Like, why can't I destroy both of these? I can, okay. 
But then why can't I destroy both of these at the same time? Why does it not work? I go, it's actually my benefit to destroy all of those. Uh, I guess I'll try to figure this out next episode, given how much time is left. It's uh, weirding me out a little bit. I'm just gonna try out something like that. I don't know. Well, no, I don't have enough throws for that idea. It's weird. Anyways, I'll see you then, guys. Bye.